Creative Cloud Libraries are a super easy way to share your documents and assets across your teammates or across different projects. So in today's video, we are going to talk about how can you create a library in Adobe XD, how can you share it online, and how can you actually restrict access to that library and choose who you want to access that library in the first place. So let's get started. Hey designer Alex here, welcome to the channel and in today's video we are going to talk about creative cloud libraries and how they integrate in Adobe XD and across all creative cloud apps. So without any further ado, let's jump inside Adobe XD. So here we are in Adobe XD and here is my chatty UI kit and the key thing you should remember is if you want to create these creative cloud libraries first you have to save your file as a cloud document because all of these assets work as cloud documents so therefore you have to save your files to the cloud in order for you to be able to access them later and to share them with your teammates but how can you do that it's super simple because this is a local document all you have to do is come right here where it says save and then save as or simply save and it's going to save as a cloud document when i hit save as you can see save to creative cloud and basically all i want to do is save it right here as chatty ui kit and let's call it online for example there we go and then i hit save and it's going to save it as a cloud document now that it's done saving all we need to do is come right here where this icon is and you can see it says publish as a library publish cloud document assets as a library with permission which is key because you always want to give permissions to your teammates because you never know who can access this library so you actually want to invite people into this library so they are able to use it but actually what comes as a library and what counts as a library let's talk about that so here we have document assets which is crucial so all of these assets which I created in this document are actually inside of this document and they belong to this document assets. So if I want to for example use this card and if I switch to layers panel you can see number two we have the content we have meet people meet people so the text in the background so let's call it I don't know content card there we go and when I hit control or command K it's going to turn it into a component when I switch back to my libraries you can see that the content card has been created and that's the crucial thing right here whatever you create inside of your document assets you can share as your library and the key element here is you can share this library across Creative Cloud apps, so they will work in Photoshop, they will work in Illustrator, they will work in any kind of software of your choice, which is included in Adobe Creative Cloud subscription. So how to share it? Basically, you come right here. And before I do that, I just want to show you some other libraries which I have already. So when I switch right here, you can see under libraries, I have this bank website assets, I have my inception design system master file library, and I have some Photoshop images. So if I switch that, and I have this image, which is from one of my tutorials, all I need to do is simply select this image, for example, and use this image, drag and drop it into place. And it's going to drop it behind this image. So if I hide it, you can see shared image appearing right here so all i need to do is simply adjust it right here and there we go i replaced this image with the previous image that was here just from my libraries so when i switch back to libraries i can go back and i can go to bank website assets for example and i have my image right here so i will select this one drag and drop this image right here it's going to do the same it's going to place it just below so here it is right here so when i hide it you can see it's located right here and because it's a tiny bit smaller than this one all i need to do is simply adjust it like so so there you go that's how super simple it is to use these and of course if you switch to bigger library like my inception design system for example which you can get link is going to be down in the description below by the way you can see all of these different colors so for example if i want to switch this color with this color all you need to do is simply click and it's going to apply that color this is super useful especially in projects 
where you have multiple people working on the same projects. For example, graphic designers are working on one part of the project in, let's say, I don't know, Adobe InDesign, for example, or Adobe Illustrator. Then you have icon designers who are working on the icon pack inside of Adobe Illustrator, for example. They want to bring it into Adobe XD. Instead of them saving that file and you opening that file up in XD, which you can do, but it's much simpler to share it as this library. You can simply drag and drop it into your XD document and more crucial when you save it back to that library they're going to be able to access it once again in adobe illustrator for some further tweaking and changes if you want to also as you saw in this example you can share photoshop images directly from photoshop they will appear in that library right here inside of adobe xd and vice versa so you can share all of these elements between adobe's different software so if we go back to Adobe XD if I switch right here and if we go back to the document assets which are all the assets from this particular document in order for me to share this as a library all I need to do is come right here publish as a library click right there it's going to ask me chatty UI kit online which if you remember this is the file which we saved online so therefore I gave it that name and it's asking me do I want to publish it as that name I want to say publish but before I do here are some restrictions and here are some permissions right here so this one is personal and this one is all of it uh, all people in my organization web donut is my company name so therefore all people inside of it are able to access it so if I want to change any of them all I need to do is click on these dots I can invite people in so when I click right there you can see you can invite people by simply typing in their email address and then you can invite them then we have share so i can share and then share with permissions so who is able to access it who is able to use it who is able to then share it from then i can rename it i can delete or move to team and this is also crucial because if you are a designer who is part of multiple teams using adobe creative cloud apps then you can move this to a different team for example graphic designers are part of a single team in one big company they are working on some visuals for this particular project and then we need to move this to ui ux team and then simply move to team they're going to move it to that team that team can edit it further tweak it and then they can move it back if they want to and basically lose access to the, those files but not permanently because they can be invited once again so going back to publishing all you need to do as i said chatty ui kit online is the name of the file is hit publish before you do you can create new so if you don't want it to be saved with this particular name you can click create new and then give it a different name and then do it from there so publish and here it is so save to everyone in this agency which is my agency can view and use or can edit what this means is they can simply drag and drop like i showed you right here but they cannot edit elements so let's say we have that component which we created this content card right here they're not going to be able to edit it but they can still use it they can position it around they can change colors they can do all of it but they cannot make design changes to it so they cannot change corner radius they cannot change background colors for example they can only edit text and replace images for example but if a switch can edit they can make further changes so this is crucial if you're working as a part of a team make sure to give editing permissions to other designers for example and that way you're going to limit some mistakes which are going to obviously come along along the way for some people who are not, uh, who might not be able to make those changes editing changes to this particular project like marketing teams and so on and so forth so finally all you need to do is hit publish and it's going to save it out as a cloud document and there we go you can invite people to this library you can see share up to date and there we go if i go back to document assets like so there we go you cannot see this library just yet you have to close this file and open it up once again and therefore it's going to show up right here because we are opening this chatty ui kit online as a document right now but if i open up another document it's going to show you basically everything that we have inside of the document assets right here crucially you can see sunrise right here so up to date library inception design system master file number one so what this means is just remember this because it's the color that we applied from inception design system so here we have this sunrise file so if i go back to that so inception design system master file and we locate that file which is this sunrise file if i right click 
apply fill color, apply border color, I can copy and I can open source document to be able to change that color. Now just pay attention to this part. If I open up the original document which says open source document and change this sunrise color inside of that original document, it's going to automatically apply to this online library and then to the instance in this particular file because it's applied from that particular library. So that's the power of it. If you give permissions to people in your team to make these global changes, they're going to be applied everywhere automatically. So if let's say five designers are working as a part of a team, all five are going to have these changes applied to all files automatically, no matter who made those master changes. Basically how everything works from here is if I decide to change this orange color, for example, I can edit it and I can maybe further tweak it right here. You can see it says update your published library. So when I hit update now, it's going to update and there we go. It's now updated. So everybody in your team is going to have a little notification right here at the bottom left hand corner to whatever you uploaded and whatever you made changes to. And they're going to be able to use the same shortcut that chat just did with this blue bar. You can simply hit apply and it's going to apply those changes to all of your files across your Creative Cloud documents, no matter in which software you are working on. So there we go. I hope you understood how super useful and important these libraries are as part of your Adobe XD workflow. Don't just pay attention to huge libraries like this Inception Design System was with over a thousand elements. Library can be as small as let's say 10 elements, just colors, just some character styles. You can upload it and you can share it between your projects. Also, make sure to create libraries with some elements that you usually create, like buttons, for example, or maybe some card elements or some forms or some footers or headers. You can create libraries, publish them online. And then when you move on to the next project and you need headers, for example, open up the header library, drag and drop those elements inside and then further tweak it from there. So they're a super useful part as your Adobe XD workflow grows. So make sure to test them out, make sure to use them. And if you like this video, make sure to press the like button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I upload new videos every single week right here on the channel, all about Adobe XD, UI UX design, passive income techniques, and so much more. So if you're interested in content like that, make sure to subscribe and until next time, take care.